Pittsburgh now, where the 1400 block of Market Street was littered with bullet casings. New State's Harrisburg reporter Portia Johnson joins us live with the latest on the search for one of the shooters. Yeah, well, police are still looking for the man who started firing the shots. Evidence of the damage is still here. The shattered glass and uh, the bullet hole through this uh, windshield. And next to it, you can see where the bullets hit this tree. Police say, fortunately, the residents here were not hurt. The day after Wednesday's shootout in the 1400 block of Market Street, residents are concerned about their safety. It's horrible. It's horrible to even live here anymore. Marshawn Courtney says her brother was shot and killed 12 years ago. Now she's worried about her grandchildren. My grandkids are so used to it. They're used to it and they know to hit the ground. They know when they're in the house they have to drop down. Police say none of the residents was hurt when at least 45 rounds were fired. News 8 spoke with the police chief right after the shooting. It looks like Beirut, Lebanon here with all these here um, bullet casings. This is not a good sign for the city. Police say one man started firing two handguns at two other men. One was hit in the leg, the other fired back with what looked like a submachine gun. It's another prime example why we need sensible gun legislation. Courtney says she blames the people behind the guns. I just blame it on them being so stupid, you know, to ruin their lives, to ruin families, to kill each other. It's it's just terrible. Now, police say the man who returned fire was carrying legally. Now, police also say that he did give them a statement. So far, no one has been charged. Back to you. Terrible and senseless. All right, thank you, Portia.